Five cases of soldiers' remains recovered from North Korea are now on an American military base in South Korea. North Korea turned over those remains on the 65th anniversary of the armistice that ended fighting in the Korean War. As Mike Carter reports tonight, a Lafayette veteran of the Korean War is happy to see his fellow soldiers begin their journey home. Mike's story, new tonight at 6. Lee Simon lived in this home with his wife Ramona for nearly 60 years. By the way, this is a hip replacement that I'm that I'm working at. And though he still owns the place, he lives elsewhere now because some memories are just too painful. And then my wife died uh, a couple of years back. And in fact, I decided I can't live here anymore. Simone met his wife Ramona shortly after being discharged from the army, where he was a sergeant during the Korean War. Learn to fire every weapon that you could imagine. You know, learning different kind of things and developing character as you went along. And while Simone spent most of his time deployed in Germany during the tail end of the war, he's happy to know that the remains of many of the men and women he served alongside during that time are being brought home. And I think the president, uh, again, what, no matter what party you're from, you need to give him at least that much understanding that he has worked hard and he in fact got results. Simone says to be able to visit a loved one's remains is crucial for a family the same way it was crucial for him and his family to be able to visit his brother's remains in Normandy after World War II. Tremendous emotions. Even as a 18 or 19 year old, I know I loved him and I know he loved me as his little brother. Simone says he may not come back to this house very much anymore, but the fact that he can is meaningful, just as he hopes the return of loved one's remains will be meaningful to the families of the fallen. And their return would mean that more families would get the same satisfaction. They would get a sort of a closure on this. And to me, that's the bottom line. You know, at least we got a number of them coming back home. In Lafayette, Mike Carter, KATC TV3.